Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at Candy Coat Poly Gel. Now, I do just wanna say before we get into this video, I'm using a new camera, so let me know if this is better now. I really, really hope that it is. But anyway, so one of you messaged me and asked me to try the Candy Coat Cookie Dough, which is a gel and acrylic combo, which is what poly gel is. And I did not even realize that until I actually got it in because it is in a pot and I've never seen that before. And it also came with dual forms. I bought this on Black Friday and it's been quite a while. So it did take like two weeks to come in. I did grab a couple extras. So I think one or two of these little gel polishes in here don't come with the kit, but I think one does. Anyway, let's just go over what you get in the candy coat cookie dough kit. So you get one, two, and three poly gels. And it's so interesting that they're in a pot and not a squeeze tube. A file, which it's super interesting that this has a 400 and 4,000 grit. You don't usually see that. You get the dual forms, some regular forms, a brush and spatula, some literal candy, more candy, and then you also do get a gel polish. Now I'm assuming that this sparkly red color is what came with it because I also got a pink, which seems more like what I would order. And then I also ordered this paint, which is a bright yellow, which I think I would order. So missing from this is a base and top coat. So I will use my own. I'm fairly certain that you do need to use a base coat with this. I've never had any poly gel stick that didn't need one. So today I am going to be using dual form. So I was watching Long Hair Pretty Nails and I saw that one time she got a kit with straight dual forms and I was literally shook. I could not believe it. So I looked and these are straight dual forms and I am absolutely so excited to try these instead of the curved like they usually are. I know my nails look crusty dusty right now, okay? So here is the curve of a normal dual form like the one that just came in this kit. And then here is the straight one. So this is going to be super, super interesting to see. I cannot wait to try these. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I got these on Amazon. I'll link everything below as usual. But yeah, so I'm gonna be using these straight ones and I'm gonna do all of 10 fingers with these. So I'm hoping that it works out. Usually I'm not able to keep poly gel with dual forms on super long because they just don't fit my nail super well. The curve just like does not sit right. So I'm really hoping that this is different on these. I'm gonna try a piece of this candy. Mmm. I think it's literally just chocolate and sprinkles. It's good though. So I just went and pulled out a base coat that I got from another kit and then a, nope, that's not, then a primer and a dehydrator. Okay, so my nails are obviously super crusty right now and I'm gonna keep them like that because I want these to stick. So I'm just going to put some dehydrator on right now. Anything that you see on my nails is leftover nail glue from my latest set that I just took off the press on ones. So nail glue is fine, it'll stick. I can put stuff on top of it. I'm not worried about it. Next, I'm gonna just use primer and I'm using all of the Apre stuff as usual to prep. And then I'm just gonna use the candy coat base coat to stay on brand with everything. So we'll just do a nice thick layer and use my little light that I got from my pink poly gel kit from a car. I'm still gonna use this thing. It is so much easier to maneuver under the camera. It's not bulky. Then I'm just going to do that to each of the nails. Here are those. God, can you hear people speeding on my street? So loud. Okay, and then let's open all of these and see what we are working with in terms of shades. So these are really light. So first off, we have a pink shade. Next, we just have this white shade. And last but not least, a even lighter pink. So this one is all sticky. So we're just gonna leave her as is like that for now. I am wondering if this is going to be easier to work with just scooping it out or harder since it's not in a squeezy tube. I am just going to get out some rubbing alcohol to use with this since it did not come with any slip solution. Yes, I know I'm using this like little plastic jar thing. 200,000 subscribers and I'm using plastic jars. All right, now let's use these. I'm so excited. 
Okay, let me just size this up. This seems like it will work. So lots of space. I'm so excited, okay. Okay, I'm gonna say let's just scoop out. All right, and okay, now I'm just going to scrape that on here and it is time to smooth it out. This is a really itty bitty tiny brush. It's working really well with the rubbing alcohol though. Like this is not sticky at all. This is super easy to work with so far. Me literally like two seconds in, <laughs> but it's like just sliding really nicely. All right, I'm definitely going to need more. Scoop some more out of here, probably like that much. This is actually super, super easy to work with. I'm gonna try to do the full length because of course I am all the way up to this last little notch up here. Okay, that looks good to me, I think. I think that looks like good thickness and everything. So now it is time to finally do it. I think that this has this little notch on the edge where it goes upwards so that you can like grab it. I don't know why else. Okay, I think that's it. Wow, that was like really so easy. I'm gonna just clean up a tiny bit around and just smooth this back side out a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna sort of tilt this like that so that I can just hold my finger and let it cure because I wanna hold this down so that there isn't any air bubbles. I'm gonna just hold it down until it is done, doing like a little flash cure. And I'm gonna do it on the underside too just to make sure that we really got everything. Now it is time to pop this off. Okay, having a little bit harder time than usual. Wow, whoa, that is so much stronger than normal. Usually I almost feel like a weak spot with the dual forms, but this one feels great and look at that shape. Wow, and it's long too. Okay, wow you guys. Um, I already love these forms. These are definitely longer than just the press-ons I was just wearing. These are longer than any of the dual forms that I've tried before. I absolutely love. <laughs> so let's move on. I'm gonna just keep these same ones out and I'm gonna reuse them because that one was totally fine. That one seems a little square. For me, let's see if we can do a smaller size. I say a little square as if the bottom shape is gonna change. Okay, so only complaint so far, my cuticle and my thumb, which is why I didn't notice, is like squared off, but the rest of mine are like super, super circular. So I need to file the sides of these if I wanna use them. Much better. Now that I got all that taken care of, I do wanna try this clear. Surprisingly, do not mind having to scoop it out of the pot because it is so easy to work with. I'm not having an issue with the rubbing alcohol taking away the stickiness or anything like that. I did think I was gonna not like that because you guys know I usually just squeeze the poly gel directly onto the form. But this isn't bad, I don't, I don't mind it at all. I am so pleasantly surprised with this kit so far. I was honestly expecting to not really like it very much. I don't know why, I think because the Summit Candy Coat stuff has been like really hit or miss for me. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the other one, just kind of do that. And I'm gonna hold it down just ever so lightly while I smooth the back out. And then I'm going to just cure it and then until I don't have to hold on to it anymore. It cures really, really quickly. I'm only having to hold it for like a good couple seconds before it doesn't need my help anymore. Okay, time to pop this one off. Ooh, this one seems like really on there. I think I accidentally did it like slightly too high. Wow, I love, ooh, I need to cure it a little bit more. Here's this one. I accidentally did it too high and I got that weird little curve at the end, but I can totally fix that. That little part is not sound, but the rest of it is so good. I am so impressed. So let's just kind of quickly do the rest of these and then we can go on to shaping. 
I think I'm gonna stick with using this pink poly gel for now because I want to keep that clear in case I need it for anything in the future. It's because I really, really like it and it is, it's kind of clear. It's a little cloudy, but I really like it. So I want to make sure that if I need it for anything that I have enough. This is probably the least sticky poly gel I've ever used like in my entire, I was gonna say life as if I've been doing nails my entire life, but this is probably the least sticky one that I've used for sure. I'm just going to zoom on through the last couple nails and then we can get on to decorating them. Okay, and then now that I have done all of them, I'm gonna start shaping them. Super easy. We'll see on these ones. Okay, so now I have all of those shaped up, I think. I'm actually going to use this really pretty red sparkly gel that came with it. It's like red, but pink at the same time. When I'm filming this, Christmas is in like a week, so why not? I just think this color is really pretty and it came with the kit. I do love how Candy Coat does that, is send like at least one gel polish with each kit. So there is one coat. It's almost like a pinky sort of color. I think I'm just gonna put one more coat on this one since it is almost see-through and the other ones are on a pink base so you cannot even tell. Okay, and then I think that I'm gonna do some foil. So I'm gonna get out my foil glue and put a nice coat of that on here. And then I'm gonna use this foil so I know that it's like red on red, but I just think it'll look really pretty. Are these turning into Valentine's Day nails? Am I early? Wow, I actually love it. I know it's like super subtle and like it's almost like red on red, but I feel like you can still see it and I feel like it's really pretty. I like it. So now I'm just going to put the foil glue on the rest of these. So I think that partially I really love this kit due to the forms that I used and that was a huge upgrade in my poly gel experience because usually you guys know I don't love poly gel when I use them with the dual forms too much. I always say like, you know, I don't usually do this, whatever, whatever. But now I think like my aversion to using poly gel with dual forms has left as long as I use the straight ones. So here they are before we do the top coat. Ooh, it's gonna stick together. So let's do the top coat really quick. I'm once again just gonna use a candy coat one. And this is their super shiny no wipe top coat. So I'll have extra shiny nails, I guess. So overall, I think I actually love this poly gel. It might be one of my new favorites. It just was not sticky at all. And it was super, super, super easy to work with. I didn't mind that it was in a pot at all. 
I feel like that can maybe make it like a tiny, tiny bit messier, but not enough for me to complain about it. I got this on sale on Black Friday, so I did definitely get it at a discounted price, but I do even think that it would be worth it at full price. You do have to get quite a bit of your own products, you know, like if you wanted the different types of forms and you also need your own base coat and top coat, but I just think the quality is so good. Candy Coat is honestly kind of killing it with some of these kits. And I really like how they include a gel polish. I feel like that just like wins me over a tiny bit more. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna go get some cuticle oil. So your guys' eyes stop bleeding. Here is the cuticle glaze. I feel like I just have so much stuff from them because I have so many kits at this point. And here we are. Here are the finished nails. I hope you guys like this video. I am pleasantly surprised at how these turned out. The poly gel seems super strong. A lot of the times I try to snap it and it's definitely not going anywhere. It could be the structure of the other forms that I used, but this poly gel, I think by itself is just super strong. Because of when I'm filming this video, I might actually have a wear test for you guys. So if that's the case, then you guys will be seeing that next. Okay, so quick one week update. All these little divots are from me filing my dog's nails but i actually broke a nail just one right here and i did paint them over black as you can see so they weren't as strong as i thought they were going to be because one it did break but other than that they did okay no peeling or lifting or anything like that at least but that's it i just thought i'd do a quick update but other than that thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to give this video a like if you like when i test these different kits i know it's been a little bit since i've actually done a whole different kit so let me know thank you guys so much for watching and i will hopefully see you next time bye